video what we're going to be looking at is how C++ will store wide characters or the wchar underscore t data type into memory and basically um, compilers will assign this either two bytes or four bytes and in G++ on Mac it's four bytes but on G++ in Windows it's two bytes or maybe it's four bytes for larger numbers and what you can do then is store a larger range of numbers and you can store Unicode numbers instead which allow you to store a wider variety of characters so with ASCII we only had like 128 characters but here we have so many different characters and symbols from all kinds of languages and we can store all of these because we can store the Unicode number this time so to um, allocate memory for a wide character, you would do something like this. So you'd have this part right here, which allocates to two bytes or four bytes, depending on the compiler. Again, in this case, it's going to be four bytes. Then we have the name of the variable. So in this case, it's, going to, it's called pi. And this name of the variable gets associated with the address of the four bytes or two bytes that we just reserved. And the way you declare a character is you put this L in front of it like this and then you put the character inside single quotes like this and the character that we're going to be uh, storing today if I can find it is this pi character right here which is why the variable is called pi so we just put the character in like this and again what we've done is we've reserved four or two bytes of memory and we've converted this character right here this pi character into its unicode value which in this case is 960 and then this 960 gets stored um, as a binary integer I guess into those four bytes that we reserved so if we're reading this back out so if I had something like std c out and then we gave fed the pi right here um, by the way when you're printing a wide character you can't um, use C out because C out is character out you have to use W C out which is wide character out and that will print it to the terminal so what happens here is it will look at the memory address associated with pi it will read the four bytes of data in or two bytes depending on the compiler again and then it will find the character in the Unicode table which is this pi symbol and output that back so let's have a look at how this will be stored so this should be stored as um, 960 and the 960 should look something like this in binary where we have these four ones at some point and then zeros like this so what I have is if I open it up I have a program to demonstrate this so let's copy and paste this here so what we have here is it basically stores the pi symbol and it prints out its um, address, its size and the value itself and also the blocks of memory that we have it stored under. So let's do that. So let me just open this up in a terminal and let's compile it first. So g++ dot slash demo dot cpp dash o dot slash demo like this. Then if we run the program Okay, so we should see that the the value doesn't actually get printed, and that's because this pi symbol isn't compatible with um, the terminal application in this locale, but it has been stored, so we don't have to worry. It has been stored. It just can't be printed to the terminal right now. We still have the address, and as I said before, G++ on Mac uses four bytes, but on Windows I've observed that um, in some previous tests that yeah it uses two bytes like this and I said before the 960 in binary is this number right here where we have these four ones and then six zeros after and if we look at our memory we can see that we have the four ones right here and the six zeros after so that's a unicode value or 960 of the pi symbol stored there and again it gets retrieved and converted back into its character um, like I said before it's not printing because um, uh, this terminal and this language I don't think supports this pi symbol but if I change it to something like a um, and then I compile and run this we can see that it does get printed and let's have a look at the Unicode value for capital A that should not be like that um, let's see so that should be 65 and um, yeah that looks like 65 in binary that's 64 plus 1 so yeah 
that it does work, it just doesn't print to the terminal sometimes. But basically how a wide character is stored is that its Unicode uh, number is stored into the memory as binary.